In this video, let us uh, continue to solve more problems based on circles. And we've got a question which reads like this. A bicycle wheel makes 5000 revolutions in moving 11 kilometers. Find the diameter of the wheel. Well, now, first of all, it says that, you know, by moving 11 kilometers, the bicycle has made 5000 revolutions, right? Now, the distance covered by the wheel in one revolution is given by distance moved by the number of revolutions. So, this is going to be the expression, you know, from which we are going to solve the entire problem. So, what we'll first do is let's take the radius of the wheel to be equal to r centimeters and the distance covered. The distance covered by the wheel in one revolution is given by distance moved over number of revolutions. So we've got the distance moved is 11 kilometers, which is 11,000 meters over the number of revolution is 5,000, right? But since we've taken the radius of the wheel to be r centimeters, let us multiply this by 100 you know, to make it into centimeter, because this is in meters. So one meter equals 100 centimeters. To convert the whole thing into centimeters, we got to multiply this by 100. So we've got, again, 1100 over 5, which is nothing but 220 centimeters. So the distance covered by the wheel in one revolution is nothing but 220 centimeters, right? So the distance also one more property that we did is that the distance covered by the wheel in one revolution is equal to the circumference of the wheel right so the circumference of the wheel is going to be 2 pi r definitely taken r centimeter to be the radius of the wheel so it's going to be 2 pi r now this is equal to 220 centimeter because that is what that's the distance that the wheel covered in one revolution which is in turn equal to its circumference therefore we've got r as equal to 220 over 2 times 22 by 7 because pi is a constant which is equal to 22 by 7. This is nothing but 220 times 7 over 22 into 2. So 22 goes 10 times in 220 and 2 goes 5 times in 10 which gives us 5 times 7 that is 35 centimeters. So the radius of the wheel is given as 35 centimeter. We need to find the diameter of the wheel, right? So the diameter is nothing but 2 times radius of the circle. So therefore, 2 times 35 is 70 centimeter. Therefore, the diameter of the wheel is found to be 70 centimeters. So that's all. Let me brief you up on this problem before I move on to the next one. The question here is the bicycle wheel makes 5000 revolutions in moving 11 kilometers. The one thing that you have to remember is the distance covered by the wheel in one revolution is equal to its circumference. So therefore, when we write this, we are straight away finding the circumference of the wheel. So that is given by distance moved by the number of revolutions, right? So when you find this out, you get some distance which is equal to the circumference. And using the formula of the circumference, find the radius of the circle. So once you've found the radius, you can double it to get the diameter of the wheel. Because the wheel is a circle. Alright, now let us quickly solve another problem. So here we are with another similar question like the previous one. It reads like this. A wheel has a diameter of 84 centimeters. Only that we don't have to find the diameter here. It's already given. Find how many complete revolutions must it take to cover 792 meters. Right? So, well. Now, let the radius be r centimeters again. Let the radius of the wheel in question here be equal to r centimeters right and then we've got the diameter let us write the data down we've got the diameter is 84 centimeters so therefore the ra the radius of the wheel is going to be equal to 42 centimeters right so now let's find the circumference of the wheel so 
circumference of the wheel is 2 pi r which is nothing but 2 times 22 by 7 times 42 7 goes 6 times in 42 which gives us 264 centimeters now the reason i've done all these things i'll just let you know in a minute here we've got meters so let us convert this into meters so 264 centimeters divided by 100 gives you 2.64 meters because one meter is 100 centimeters so the circumference is 2.64 meters or what is the circumference equal to circumference is nothing but the distance traveled by a wheel in one revolution that's what circumference is also meant you know let me write it here circumference is nothing but distance covered by a wheel in one revolution right so therefore this wheel covers a distance of 2.64 meters in one revolution how many complete revolutions must it take to cover 792 meters so it's pretty simple now so all we need to do is divide 792 meters by 2.64 meters to find the number of revolutions must complete so 792 divided by 2.64 gives you exactly 300 so the number of complete revolutions that the wheel has to take to cover a distance of 792 meters is 300 revolutions right so this ends this problem both of the problems were kind of similar except that you know what we have to find was a little different otherwise you know pretty basic problems based on some standard concepts so this completes this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on wheels and revolutions, which is, you know, the same as circles.